Hello adventurers! I am here at the Islamic Center of Greater Cincinnati. Um, over here we have the mosque. Behind me is the educational center and over behind there is actually their um, kindergarten through eighth grade school building. Um, we actually just had about a two hour um, lecture. It was really informative. Um, there were some really cool different things that we learned about um, the Islamic faith and about uh, Muslims in the area. A lot of misconceptions were addressed um, and there were actually some completely new things that I had no idea of. For example, the country with the most Muslims is Indonesia. Um, so that was kind of new, that was really cool to learn. I'm wearing the headscarf not because I have to at the moment but because it's actually really cold, it's about 30 degrees out. Um, but when we went into the mosque we were required to, I'll show the mosque there, um, when we went in, we were required to, uh, women have our heads covered. And one of the things I thought that was really cool about that was, uh, there was a quote that said, for some women, um, the hijab, which is a covering of the head, the arms, and the legs. I'm also wearing a skirt. I never wear skirts, so I'm showing that off. Um, and long sleeves. I don't wear long sleeves much either. Um, but they talked about the hijab being empowering because it's a freedom from objectification. You are not being seen as a sexual object because you are covered. So there's no opportunity for lust there. And I thought that was really neat because there's a lot of misconception about uh, Islam and oppression of women. And just, I love that, you know, they included that the hijab can be empowering for women. Um, and it is a choice. It's not required except for in the mosque itself. So that was one of the really cool things. Um, to just experience in this lecture. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I took a couple of photos and a little video of the Imam talking. The Imam is the religious uh, figurehead uh, for the service. So I will cut those in and edits here at the end and you'll get to experience some of that. Um, but it was just a really beautiful, beautiful day. And I would encourage you if you have an Islamic center in your region or a mosque, to contact them about maybe an educational tour, um, if they do any of these kind of talks, and just educate yourself about, you know, a new religion, um, learn about your neighbors. You know, they're, they're everywhere, they're all over, there are friends, there are neighbors, there are coworkers. So I would just encourage you to learn more about the people around you and um, kind of demystify some of the things that the media tells us. So, thanks, bye adventurers. Thank you. 